Hello, hello. Let's see if this thing loads up. Yes, we are live. I'm early, so we're going to give it a minute. Hello, hello, Janet. <laughs> Janet was the first one in the room. Let's see here. <clears throat> <laughs> Hi, Nora. <laughs> I think Janet was first. I remember I recall seeing her there first. All right, you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs. And for the past couple of weeks, on and off, I've done a couple live streams where I've been kind of creating this. Um, Eight by eight, I'm calling it an ephemera journal because basically that's basically what I did. Um, I went and I used my Cricut, which I love using, and I've printed and cut a whole bunch of ephemera-like images um, that I've collected. And some I've cleaned up, some of them already came clean, but basically that's what I did. So I've completed most of it, you guys. Yes, I've completed most of it. <laughs> this, yes, oh God. Today was a crafting marathon for sure. It's been amazing, 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 amazing. But we'll go into talking about that a little bit more as we get into the live stream. So you guys, this is an eight by eight, I believe. Basically the pages are eight by eight. I think the cover is eight and a half by eight. Um, just so that I have some room to actually put, you know, the rings and stuff like that and have a little bit of lip, you know, around the whole book. And so um, I've already done most of this and I'm gonna start sharing that with you guys in a minute. Um, but let's put this to the side. Let's see the images that I've cut um, cut and print today with my lovely friends, Isabel and Janet. Um, we've basically been on the computer, you guys, Lord knows since 10 a.m. <laughs> and we've been going crazy with our machines. We each have one, um, me and Janet both have the same. Uh, expression tool. I mean, um, explore tool. And Isabel has the expression tool. So basically, today was like, yes, let's turn these babies on. Let's crank out some projects. Let's do some things, you guys. And we'll definitely have more of that coming soon. Um, so we'll have details of that in the near future. Make sure that you are subscribed to Crafting with Isabel Abori as well as Mom to Create if you have not done so already. Trust and believe the creativity amongst these ladies is amazing. And I cannot wait to see what they're going to do with their machines now that they're using them finally. <laughs> so, yes, you guys know I already had a heads up. I already had a, a, a good head start using my machine because I love it. Um, and I've been doing all kinds of different things with it. I've cut all different kinds of chipboards. I've done all different kinds of stuff with it. Um, and so for this little adventure, I decided to just go like, ephemera crazy so i went online and i searched through all the different places that offered free downloads um oh yes of course don't forget our son's channel of course but our son's not doing the cricket thing right now um this is for the ladies that are doing the cricket project of course do not forget to subscribe to sasson's vintage world not only are you going to see amazing creative crafts but he is also a male crafter. So he's like a diamond in the rough already just with that being said. So it's awesome to get a male's perspective on different kinds of, you know, vintage type projects. That's basically what he does in all different kinds of art forms. So make sure that you subscribe to him as well if you have not subscribed to him already. He was here before as Sasson, uh, Sasson and Crafts, but now it's Sasson's Vintage World. And I said Crafts, you guys, C-R-A-F-T-S. Okay, just in case it sounds weird because I'm Spanish. <laughs> oh, you don't use it anymore? Which ones do you have, Nora? The one or the two? Yes, I saw squat all day. So, you guys, um, let me share with you guys some of the images that I did cut out today. Um, I didn't go too, too ham because I spent most of my time actually searching for more new ones um, and downloading and saving those, which took some time. So here we have this beautiful doorway. Um, I did go ahead and print some of these out on a larger scale. 
I try to look for images that are actually large to begin with because it allows me the fancy of, you know, resizing them and getting bougie with it, right? So basically, I resized it and I made it really large. And I'm thinking about using this in the inside cover, but I'm not sure yet. Again, I just, you know, get a whole bunch of stuff together and then I figure it out later. We have this beautiful timepiece right here. Where's the 12? Right here. Now, my printer has an issue, you guys. I have to replace it. It is older than my children, um, literally. And I have two 21-year-olds because I have a set of twins. So, yeah, it's pretty old. But it still does the job. It's still kicking, right? As long as I can find the ink, I'm going to use it. <laughs> but I definitely got to replace it, though. It's getting about that time. Some of the colors are really nice, and the other colors are a little bit dull. So this is a glass uh, a glass flower, you guys. I don't know if you can see how it looks, um, the fact that it looks like glass, but maybe you can see it better with the contrast. Yes, me too. Me too, Janet. I love it, love it, love it. Um, here is a Greek goddess. Hopefully it's, you guys can see it while my computer is like buffering a little bit. I don't know if it's my computer or if it's the program. You guys will let me know if you have any glitches in the feed. Um, I have this, which is like one of those, um, it is like a pinata to me, but it's like one of those light things. You actually put like lights in here. Let's see, try that out. Okay, I have a rock. These are rocks right there. I have this beautiful, beautiful angel. She's supposed to be like a bronze statue. I absolutely love it. Uh, thank you. You as well, my friend. Tu no te queda atrás, please. Okay? <laughs> um, I got some of these metal roses and I printed them out pretty large. I'm not sure again what I'm going to be using, what I'm not, but I did want to just have some, you know, new items to add to the ones that I already have to see like where we kind of go from here. I have a different setup for my um, camera today. So if it looks a little bit off than what it usually looks like, that's probably why. I have this beautiful, beautiful key. I mean, this is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Ah, uh, she's back. Yeah, um, now, especially since the newer ones came out, there's a lot of people that are selling, like, their older ones. Because you just get so much more use out of the, the newer ones. However, if what you can do is the older one for now, get it because it's a great machine. Trust and believe it's a great machine. You're going to get a lot, a lot of use out of it. Um, I sure as heck did. I used that thing so I couldn't use it no more. And I needed, I needed to, to upgrade just to have the variety. But I love that machine. That machine did it all for me. Here's another Greek statue. I think Isabel's catching up now. She said the flower. I think the flower was a while ago. <laughs> um, we have this beautiful uh, stack of gold coins. This is like a very mixed um, kind of book overall. I have this sword, reminds me of like Excalibur. And I'm thinking that if I use the sword that I can go ahead and I've pre-cut into the rock already. I can kind of slide it in here and make it look like the Excalibur, the Excalibur sword that was, um, you know, from King Arthur. <laughs> so that's the goal. At least that's the idea for now. And then we also have this piece right here, which is the last piece that I went ahead and cut out. Has them over here. <laughs> well, hi, Jay. How are you? So today I'm going to be finishing up the covers for my book. I'm going to go ahead and now that we have more people here, I'll start sharing. I just didn't want to have to share to share again, to share again, to share again, which I don't mind, you know, the work is awesome. Um, Here's the cover papers. I've already gone ahead and um, pretty much scored it and just cut the little notches off. I'll be cutting a little bit more off on the corners just to make them fit in nicely. But I've got the two covers. I'm also going to be incorporating um, some of this tissue paper on here because I think it will look really nice with the background. So it'll also help break up some of that pattern because it's a little busy, um, so much of that pattern. So we have a little bit of that. Um, I'm thinking for the inside cover, I dream until your dreams come true is what I'm going to use on the inside. I think it kind of fits the colors, I think. But we'll see what I feel like when I put it actually together. So that's what that is. 
<laughs> um, I've got some little birds here that I might add here and there. I don't know yet. Um, we're probably going to be adding a little bit of glaze here, a little bit of something, something over there, but we'll see how that kind of goes as we do it. Now for the grand reveal, you guys, um, this is what I've done so far to my book, to the pages, which is move some of the stuff around so you guys can get a good view. Hopefully the lighting is good. Yes. Right, I love the quote on that, and because my book is a little bit more whimsical than usual, in the sense of I went a little bit more towards a darker theme than what I normally go towards. Usually, even though I go a little bit dark for some stuff, I'll still add some light into it. This I didn't really do that too much. I kept it kind of medieval ish, you know, steampunk ish, you know, like that. <laughs> so, again, eight and a half by eight is the cover. The pages themselves, I think, are eight by eight, if I'm not mistaken, or they could be eight and a half. I'll remeasure again later. But we did, we built basically all of these pages on the videos. So, all of the pages that I built are the pages that I kept. I really didn't add any more new ones. All I did was decorate the backs and add some elements to the pages that maybe I, ha I had not, you know, added on to it at the point when I made them. So if they're not linked below, I'm going to go back in and add them to the description. So make sure that you check that out. Oh, also, now that I say this, let me, before I forget, if you have been watching, if you were a part of Sasong's live stream yesterday um, for his episode number nine, he had a glitch with the video, you guys. Um, the video, for some reason, is not popping up in his video feed. However, it does show in his playlist. This morning, he had comments there, and he answered. He co you know, he commented. He replied to the comments. By the time that he got home from, from, you know, from work, all the comments were gone. It's like YouTube deleted it. It literally has zero. Because usually, when you delete the video, um, the comment yourself, you'll still have that comment count as a, a comment that was received. So it'll say like three, four, five. If you go to his video now, chances are is that you're only going to see my comments. So I did that to test it out. Make sure that if you do want to participate. And, um, you know, for your chance to win for that suitcase full of all of those amazing cards, you guys, he's got one more to go that you go to that video and any other video that you might have missed. And you all you got to do is comment, you guys be subscribed and comment. Super simple. And trust me, that suitcase is amazing, amazing, which you'll you'll definitely notice by the time that you watch all of the 10 videos. Super, super cool. Like. The cards are magnificent. Plus, we have a bonus card from Mom to Create. She did a beautiful shaker card that is also in there as well. So again, if you did it, if you commented on that video or if you want to participate into that, you still have time. He's on episode number nine right now. Make sure that you go to his channel, hit the playlist for his VIP, which is what he's working on right now. The the vintage index, um, the vintage Polaroid, right? That's, that's what it is. What the series is the VIP series. I'm, I'm telling them about what's going on with your video and about commenting on the video. The playlist, what's the name of the playlist? The VIP what? VIP. Just VIP? Yeah, VIP. Okay. Series, yeah. So it's the VIP series. That's the playlist. You can find the playlist on his channel. Um, Unfortunately, because I'm using a different software, it's not that easy for me to like link all the stuff beforehand. Right now, it's sitting on his front page, you guys. So if you commented, the comment was deleted. Please. Go back and comment, okay? I understand. He read the comments, you guys, and he, like I said, he answered them. So he already knows what your sentiment was. So just make sure that you go back to that video and that you comment so that when I do the tally, when the giveaway is over, that I have that there because, you know, my brain, not always on point. So I want to make sure that when I go to each single video and as I'm verifying that everybody has commented on all 10 videos to be entered, um, that I don't miss nobody, Okay. Because if you miss a video, you won't be put into the drawing. So make sure if this is something that you're interested in, you love the work that he has created thus far and you want to support his channel, his series, and everything that he's got going on, that you go to those videos and you comment in the description, I mean, in the comment area down below. And if you commented and for some reason your comment isn't there, make sure that you notify either him or me and we'll rectify the situation or, you know, we'll figure out all we got to figure out. But your comment has to be in that video, in all 10 of the videos by the time the series is done. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I know it's the craziest thing. And it's like, it's glitching. Like literally when you go to that video and you go to the settings, like it doesn't have none of the options that all the other videos do. So something happened between the app because he uses stream labs. You use stream labs, right? Yep. He used stream labs to stream live the video.
but something happened between it going from stream live into YouTube to be processed to be, I guess, uploaded into the YouTube database. Something happened there. So I don't know. It was stuck all night. It wouldn't show all night. It's still not showing at, on his regular video. You know, like when you click the videos in the page, then it shows you all the videos. All of his other lives are there, but that one is not there. So just make sure you're aware of that. And I think he's going to make a little quick uh, just video just to let oh, you guys yeah. know. But I just wanted to let you guys know because I know we have a lot of the same people that, you know, support both of our channels. So thank you so much. Welcome back, Jay. All right. So now back to this. So I did most of these pages. I think I did all of these pages literally with you guys. Um, I think I did two or three videos dedicated to working on these pages. In total, I believe I have seven pages, but I'll count them as I go. Um, so this is the one of the first ones, or this is what I chose is the first one. This is not really the first one, but yeah, this is the first one. So this is what I did. Um, basically, we did like a little uh, flip thing where all the pages kind of open up. Um, I haven't added like the little things in some of them. I'll do that later on. Um, but I just want to get most of this, if not, you know, basically most of this done. So I added a crow here that's like kind of like on the cross, um, like one of those stone crosses, and he's just waiting there. So this is how the movie begins. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see that. So this is how the movie kind of begins. So we have this little setting here. I do have to fill in all those little spots. It's full of gears and everything like that, um, which you guys saw me kind of create there. In the back, I put this little, let me use this little clock here. In the back, I put this little door just to serve as some kind of a tuck spot. So basically the little door, you can just tuck something in there. I did leave some of these kind of open, the back sides. Because again, I don't know what this is going to be used for. Um, I'm still kind of trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing with it. Um, so basically, we have the little tuck spot there. So that's that one. This is the front one where the lady kind of reveals her face. Um, it has the little swivel mirror. This book is all about tuck spots. I think it would be perfect for like a journal um, or something of that nature. You can totally add bigger rings and add paper to it. You can customize paper. You can do, it's still open to do all kinds of things because the pages are all individual. Um, so we have a tuck spot here. And if you wanted to get fancy, we got a tuck spot there as well, right? We also have a tuck spot here by this phone that I added on this page. <laughs> you want to eat ice cream? <laughs> yes. I'm with you there, Jay. Um, for this one here, basically what I did is I did a, some layering for this one. This one has, it's like open here on the side. You can just kind of like a little belly band style. Okay, the skull is not part of this, but I just added it there. So we have the skull, you can add stuff there. Um, Janet gave me an awesome idea to create kind of like a headstone, which I'm gonna be adding into this. Is it gonna be like a little tag, like a little headstone tag? So I'm gonna make that to kind of clip in there so it has that. Um, I glued on these little, lungs on here and i thought that, that was pretty cool because i'm pretty sure that all over these places there's scattered bones <laughs> somewhere right um so this is the next page and the next page um what i did is i took an envelope and i glued my paper down and then i cut it in half with um those scissors that have like the funky little edges this one has like a scalloped edge on it um i took some of my die cuts and some of the metallic stickers that i received from isabel and I went ahead and um, basically um, put them in some different places. So this envelope was cut in half. So now you have basically an area to put stuff into this envelope, as well as stuff that you could tuck in this one as well. And I added this feather here because you can use the feather itself to kind of close the two pockets together, right? Hi, Naya. So super, super weird, but I love it. <laughs> so basically we have this cage bird here. I put a little ladybug that's escaping and it says free, right? Um, I went ahead and added the metallic frame. Doesn't that sticker set? I added the owl. I added the word dream here, which is why I thought it was cool to add the page for the cover that said dream because it kind of ties the whole thing together in a way. Um, we have a tuck spot here. We have a tuck spot behind the head. We have a tuck spot behind the little rug thing. That's what it looks like. It looks like a rug to me. Um, we also have a tuck spot. Let me see here. Okay. Here I've gone ahead and decorated and added like flowers. She's got like a butterfly that looks like it's coming to her. And it's got like some flowers that it's attached to. I also attached um, some flowers. Well, a flower to the trunk 
of the elephant's nose. I thought that was, that was really, really cute. Here you can add a picture. You can add whatever you like if you want to add anything at all. Let's close this up and go to the back of this page. On the back of this page, I kept it rather simple. Basically, all I did was um, add two gold leaves on the side. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, all I did was add two gold leaves on the side. And basically, that gave me a double tuck spot so I can tuck something there as well as I can tuck something behind it there. And then we have the girl here. And she basically is like a little tuck spot there all on her own. You can still add more stuff to this if you wanted to. Um, this one, I didn't really do much to it. I did go ahead and add the bulbs of light here. She's a tuck spot herself. This is a tuck spot in itself. You can literally tuck. If you want to just kind of clip that down, you can just tuck that there and you can basically tuck stuff everywhere. Behind the pages and through the book. Yeah, she did. Good job. <laughs> so um, a lot of tuck spots in this thing, which is something that I, I love to do is add a lot of tuck spots into my um, journals, lap books, stuff like that. So that's that. Um, this is the second. This is the back of this page here. Is it? Yeah, this is the back of this page here. And for this one, this one has three different die cuts. This one has this little statue right here. It's got like this little, um, it's like a heart and a key kind of dangling there. So I just basically tuck that under here. And then this little gold wreath, I think that's what it's called. Um, I put that there. So basically this has tuck spots, uh, basically a tuck spot there. So you can tuck stuff behind there on both sides, as you guys can see. Okay, and we have this tuck spot here under the keys, and then we have the big tuck spot that you can basically add like a whole bunch of stuff to. <laughs> so that's what that's basically. Um, that's all the tuck spots there so far. Now on the next page. We have, uh, I added another envelope. I basically fold one part of it over and then just, you know, made it fit to the page's length. So depending on what you're doing, this is going to be a different size for you. Um, you, you know, you customize it as you need. So I added a door here um, and I got an awesome suggestion to add another door with something inside. So I'm going to see if I could print another door out and basically do it again because I only have one of this, of this door, but I, I'm going to see if I can print another one out and then do that so that it kind of opens up and then there's something kind of waiting in there. But this is another one of the envelopes. A lot of the envelopes are not fully decorated yet. I'm gonna remove these pages later on and ink them and stamp them and decorate them somehow. Uh, maybe add like little scraps of whatever I have left over, a little bit of ephemera, whatever I have left over. I'm gonna be decorating most of this, okay? Um, and basically it's just a basic envelope. Once I folded it over, I fold the envelope kind of like in half so that I meet the two ends and then I just trim so that it, it looks somehow similar to what it looked like originally. Then on this side, we have these pair of hands um, holding this little fairy, this fragile little fairy. And this is all like one big tuck spot there, right? So basically you can feed stuff from the bottom or stuff from the top, but... It's just basically one huge tuck spot in that area there. We're nearing the ends, you guys. We're nearing the ends. And basically, um, this is like a steampunk heart, and I use this page here. This, um, the page that I use in the backs of these books is all a pre from Primo Paper. Um, I forgot what it's called, but it's a Primo Paper that I had. It's one of those eight by, eight and a half by something or the other. One of those oblong ones. Um, so this is a steampunk heart and basically all around it, you can, and all I did was glue the center and then you can basically, you know, add stuff everywhere on that. Then this is <clears throat> the next page here and I think, nope, one more. So this is the next page here and this, there's a tuck spot behind the moon, under the hand, in the hands, <clears throat> and behind all of this here including the angel. 
the angel I think is just glued on this end here. So all of this part here is open. So you can go ahead and add anything. And again, this is one of the pages that I built with you guys. So I did kind of give everything a little bit of a green distress. So it's got like, I think it's a uh, cracked pistachio, pistachio, something or the other. It's got that greenish kind of um, tint to it. So here we have another door and we have here a skull. I'll get another chug spot. with some mapping on the background. In this page here, what I did is that I, I the same envelope, these are the long envelopes. Um, I basically cut off a piece of it and then I folded the other ends over because I didn't want, I didn't want to have all that bulk there. So um, basically, and then covered that part of it. So here, all we have is a simple skull. I don't, did I make this a touch spot? Yep, I sure did. Because of course, why not? <laughs> T-Y means thank you, Jay. It's short for thank you. And Y-W means you're welcome. And BRB means right back. Be right back. <laughs> so basically, that's a tuck spot there. I added a little um, pretty flower because I didn't add any nice color to this thing at all. So I figured, you know, a little touch here and there because I got to put a little something, something, right? So I put that there. Again, same thing with the so the envelope just basically folded it over, trimmed out the, the edges. I do have to fix this a little bit because I think it's a little bit off. I don't really like it too much. So we'll see what I do with that. This one here, on the back of this one, I didn't really do anything else to it as yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to so far, but the last part of this, I didn't do anything to it yet. This right here um, is a whole bunch of layered ephemera. So we have this crazy chick. That's what I'm going to call her because she looks bugged out. But I love the aesthetic of it. I love the weirdness of it. Um, so basically she is a tuck spot in the back. All of this is one big tuck spot in the back, but you also can put things here. Okay. So you can put things in a couple of different places where it's... There's still some things that are pretty loose. So you can go ahead and kind of like, you know, fill it up with different stuff here and there. So it all depends on what you want to do and what you want to add in there. And then we have that. And then the back of it is just, the black mask paper. So that's what we have so far. And then today we're going to be doing the covers. So I'm going to go ahead and get my first cover out. And I've already gone ahead and put some double-sided tape on my papers. So this is going to be a lot of sticking and smoothing. Um, it's not going to be too much hard work, honestly. I don't think, I don't, I hope not. Um, and then I got my little bag of whatever I had left over from the goodies from before. So we're gonna do this like this. And I still might go into this and add some black trim. I'm, I have to see if I have enough of what I have there um, to black, I put a little bit of trim around the, the borders of the pages. I don't know if I'm gonna do that to all of them. Maybe some of them, maybe I'll just add a little bit of aesthetic. This might not be 100% done, you guys. It all depends on what I feel like. That's why I don't even know what to do with it at this point in time. Um, once I finish the whole thing, then I'll figure out if I'm going to do a giveaway with it or if I'm just going to put it for sale um, or whatever the case may be. So this is what we have. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and actually cover the inside of, um, cover the outside of my paper, of my uh, cover. Yes, Jay, <laughs> BRB. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and remove um, all of this double-sided tape. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this. So yes, today you guys, myself along with Janet and Isabel, you guys, we hit 
these machines early, early, you guys. We've been on a crafting marathon. The fact that I'm even here with you guys now literally is a miracle of God, let me tell you. Because I've been literally in this chair all day. And it's been amazing. It's been like the best time ever. But I almost didn't make it tonight. <laughs> I almost didn't make it, you guys. I almost didn't make it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go ahead and trim these little edges off so that I can kind of overlap these little corners. It's been just super, super amazing. We had a blast. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Super, super fun. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up all of these. This paper pad is a DCWB paper pad. I don't have the cover to it anymore. I have to glue this. I have to glue that part down. I don't have the paper pad to it anymore, but. Yes. Beautiful friends and coffee. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You guys are the bomb. You're the bomb. <laughs> and it's amazing how much creativity flows when you get together like that. It just oozes out of you. Oh, I love you too. I love you too, Janet. And I love you too, Isabel. You guys are amazing. Who can ask for more? I sure can, and I sure as heck won't. I'm happy. I'm good to go. How the saying goes is not what you say, is what you do, right? Action speak louder than words. Yes, that's what it is. Action speak louder than words. Ah, oh, more. I don't have to tell you that I love you. You know I love you. So stop playing games with me. No, who can achieve me, Sasso? No, who can achieve me? Yeah, forever. Forever and ever. <laughs> God willing, God willing, right? We don't want to jinx it. There's always a hater or two lurking. <laughs> yes, Janet, exactly, right? I just love the energy right now. Super cool. Super chill. Let me grab some of my paper. What's that? Tissue paper. I'm going to try to rip some of this up, but I got to figure out what these holes are so that I can... Um... Go through them later. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, 
All right, so I got that going in there. Let me go ahead and add some of my tissue. I think I want to add a long way. So I'm going to just rip a piece off. Just going to rip a piece off and do this. I do want to kind of have a rough edge. I don't want it to kind of this thing rips in a rough edge no matter what you do. Okay. So that didn't work. Oh, well, maybe I can do strips. Can I, can I, can I? Will that look good? No. So I think what I'm going to do, actually, so I wanted to have some kind of edge to it. I don't want it to just be wonky like that. I'm just going to wrap this up like this. And I'm going to go ahead and give it my own shape. Scissors sticky. Give it my own shape. I always have to go like this before. Out. Right? Oh, I like that. I like that. I like that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let me see. Where's that brush? Yes. So, so I don't want to work no more. <laughs> Yes, it is very pretty. So let me try, you guys, let me try to glue this. You don't want to oversaturate this tissue so fine. That if you even as much as move it while it's wet, you could tear it. It's so easy to tear. Beautiful, but very easy to tear. And it tears kind of like in straight lines. So it's got like, I guess, to a certain extent, strong fibers in it or the way that they made it. But, you guys, but it does do something very weird, which is tear in straight lines. Yeah, let's see. I'm trying to get it to the edge if I can make it. Come on. Stop playing games with me. <laughs> let's see. You gotta be so careful with this. I don't want to fuzz with it too much because again, this is so thin that it will tear on me. So I'd rather be gentle with it and allow it to kind of dry a little bit before I start handling it more. Sorry if I'm a little bit quiet while I glue this down. Give me a second. I gotta concentrate. It's rippling, it's rippling. Oh, well, it's gonna ripple. You can't help it with some tissues. 
this one's so fine that the water literally goes almost through the side, even though it doesn't, but still breaks it very easily. I did to what? To the thing, that's what I'm doing. I'm applying Mod Podge. I'm applying Mod, uh, mod Podge, mod, Matte Medium. Sorry, I know you guys can see it. I should have said that from the gate. <laughs> Sometimes the, the, the decoupaging works for me, sometimes it does not. But I'm good with the result, whatever it is. Still handmade with love, right? So I'm gonna leave those flaps there. Maybe I'll glue them on the inside, I don't know. Let me seal this up a little bit. Trying to be ever so ginger with it. I really don't like decoupaging over my papers so much because I feel like it leaves like a sticky residue on it. But since I might still be doing other stuff to this, I'm going to let this go like this for now. If push comes to shove, I might just gesso with clear gesso over it just to get some of that stickiness out of it. All right, so that's basically covered. Let's let that dry for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. Let's go ahead into the back cover. All right, so let's go ahead and get all this paper out of the, all this um, covers from the sticky tape again. Take all of this stuff off. Once we get this done, you guys, this is going to be easy peasy, fast, and breezy. I hope. It's been raining here all day. It's just been a very weird kind of off day overall. But we didn't notice it too much since we were having so much fun crafting. and printing and cutting and cutting and printing. <laughs> Thank you, Nora. So let's see. Let's go ahead and do the same, kind of set that in there. Let's trim off these little bits here. So that I can kind of close this out. All right, all right, all right. Let's get some of this glue. See how come the glue always works for me? <laughs> but it never works for Sasson. It never works for that song, but it always works for me to go. Okay. Oh, yeah. When was the last time it rained in Texas, Nora? Because it was raining here today. We can send you some of our water. It's raining all day over here. Is Texas usually very dry? Is it like Arizona? <laughs> La Gloria Cita. <laughs> it might be. But we're both Spanish. So <laughs> it could be a feminist glue. <laughs> That's probably what it is. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, every summer? Oh, wow. Well, this summer was excruciatingly hot, though. I know every summer is, is warm, but this summer, for some reason, was really, really warm. It's funny how I can deal with the feel of paint, but I hate the feel of glue. Maybe <laughs> he hits it. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's see, let's see. Just kind of squeeze that down. Yeah, I didn't like this summer too much either. Usually I don't mind the summer so much. I'm a summer baby, so I don't really mind it so, so much, but this summer was excruciating. All right, so that's basically it for that. Let me go ahead and punch the holes in again, like I did before. I don't think that my, well, maybe it will. Oh, well. I could have done a clean job instead of a dirty job, okay? All right. This is still wet, so I don't want to, I don't want to repunch that up. All right, so I'm going to leave this maybe for the back cover. So let's work on the front cover right now. So I think I'm going to do this. But I don't think I'm gonna just do that. Cause I don't like seeing all of these little corners kind of exposed. So let me grab some trim and see if I can add some trim in here. Let me see what I find in my little bag of black trim. <laughs> Biscuit's watching. Hi, Biscuit. Yeah, it's crazy when the winter actually starts to feel better than the summer, right? This is pretty long. Maybe I can use this one. Let's see. Yeah, I think I can use this one. Oh, what did I kick? What did I kick? I kicked something. So let's go ahead and turn my heat tool on. I should have probably had on from before, but better late than never, right, you guys? Better late than never. Better late than never. Let's turn this baby on. Yeah. All right, so let me just go ahead and start maybe trimming some of these um, pieces. Where's my little plate? I got a little plate to use with this. What is it? I got the stuff and then I forget where I put it. Let me put this in the floor for now. Too much stuff on my desk, as usual. Sasson Squad Pound Fantastic Four. What the heck? Okay, what happened to the asterisk, Carmen Squad? No, I'm good. I don't need a squad. I'm good. Janet, trying to give me a squad. She's a Carmen squad. <laughs> I don't want a squad. I just want friends. That's it. Real ones. That's all I need. That's it. That's it. F4 Carmen Squad. 
No, no, no. I think with the Fantastic Four and the Sazon Squad, estamos bien. I think we, we've got more than what we need. There. I hope I have enough. Well, I should have enough because I can only put it on three sides anyway. I have to put it on three sides only. That's what's left over. So we're going to put the top, and then we're going to put the bottom, and then we're going to put the side. Right? No, we need to put the side. We need to put the side first. <clears throat> You're back again. Hi, Boosie. Long time no see. Yes, life is busy for everybody. Crime lights. <laughs> Hi, Claudia. How are you, love? Yes, Boosie. Nice to see you. It's been a while. Life has gotten hectic, I think, everywhere. I think that Earth has been shaking for a while. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll settle soon, right? Mm. Let's see. Just trying to make sure I know where my holes are. Because I, I can't do nothing on that right there. Oh, my game, eh? <laughs> Está bien, está bien. Can I, um, let me a lighter. Let me a lighter. Mm -hmm. This piece here, right? <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm kind of fixing the trim that didn't go too evenly because it kind of like got lost in there. So I'm trying to pull it out a little bit. So I'm just passing the heat gun. I'm not squeezing the glue into it. I'm just passing it under. So I can kind of lift up that trim so I can reposition it a little bit better. No matter what you do, there's always something what you do in your project that takes up the most time ever. No matter how fast you want to do it. For me right now is this. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you, Claudia. Thank you, thank you, everybody that's coming to my nails. <laughs> I'm trying, you guys. I'm trying to do better and be better, right? That's all we can ever do. Try, try, try. So we can't try no more. I need a blue stick. Blue stick, where are you? Blue stick, where are you? I found it. That part of your life when you know that you open that drawer and there's so much stuff you can't close it, it's when you have to clean it. <laughs> you got to go through it and sort that stuff out. That's the part of my drawer's life where it's getting to now. Part of the day when I have to get that ready. Okay. Let us add this trim here. I'm gonna flip it over real quick so I can see that it's kind of even along the area that I'm putting it. Okay. I'm so tempted to put a piece of trim on this side, but I'm, I'm not even gonna be able to do it on the other one. So I think I'm not. I think I'm just gonna hold it there. I think what I'll do with anything is maybe add a piece of chipboard in here that I can kind of lift this paper up so it's like sunken in so much. So it could just give it a little bit of lift, maybe. Let me see what kind of chipboard I find. I found some junk ones that I should hopefully be able to um just kind of cut a little square out of two of them at least that I can kind of um just stick one on top of the other. So I can stick it in that space right under there. It just feels very sunken in because the, the fabric is so thick. Maybe a little more. I'm just gonna keep doing this until I got it to the thickness that I need it to be. Now you wanna come out die cut? <laughs> now that I done cut you in half. <laughs> Make strips of the cardboard. I figured I'd just do it like this. Super easy, super simple. And that doesn't feel so sunken in now. So I'm just gonna stick, 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 you guys. Now with this one, let me just do these edges real quick.
because pan is about to head already. I mean, no ink coming out of it. That's to be expected. It's like four years old already. I'm still trying to use it. <laughs> See, the fact that it still does anything at all is a miracle. I haven't refilled it at all, ever. <laughs> All right, so that's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to add some here, though, in this space here. Okay. Maybe some pieces there on that space there. Or maybe not. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not. All right, so I'm going to use this glue gun actually to do all that. All right. So that's the inside page. Okay. <laughs> oh no I don't want to hear the word wine for a while <laughs> and with good reason <laughs> wine is like my combination lock and it opens up the vault <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's what it is i feel that as tight as i could on the edge here so you can't really see too much into it i'm gonna try to repunch these holes here real quick hopefully i can come out little paper there you go i'm gonna try to do this again I'm going to do it from this side. I need to say it's going to show. Okay. I kind of messed up a little bit with the hole here, but I'll fix that. I'll add something to it or something, beat something to it or something. Something, something, or something, right? That's how that kind of goes. All right. So this page is basically done. All we're going to do is work on this front cover here. I I this. Oh, this is the back page. Yep, this is the front page. You know why this is the back page? Because I should have done it like this. So I could flip it this way. But instead, I did it like this. So I could close. That's the back cover. So this is the back cover, you guys. <laughs> oh, that's not what I was. Uh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, it's moving on. <laughs> moving right along, moving right along. Let's 
It's always that one side that gives you problems, right? All right. So with this page, I didn't know what to do with this. So I haven't actually cut anything off for this page. So I'm thinking maybe this is going to be my front page, which is going to go like this. So maybe some just plain cardstock. That way I can um, add more of this on it. So let me see if I find some plain black cardstock. Let's see. Oh, wait, I have some textured papers here. I have some textured papers here, actually. I received these from, I believe it was Happily Ella After. She sent me an awesome happy mail some time back. Um, and in that happy mail, she had some of these, like, these are like papers. Um, I haven't used them yet, so let's see. Very thin. And I thought it was double-sided. This is like cork paper on one side, but then the other side has like this, um, it almost looks like asphalt. It looks like concrete. So I'm gonna use it on the black side, I think. I'm gonna have to do the same thing with the trim. So let me figure out what I'm gonna do as far as trim for this side because that's not gonna work. Let's see. Little bits, little bits, you guys, little bits. Little bits. Okay, I like this one for the bottom, so we're gonna choose this one for the bottom. This is gonna be a mod pod, you guys. I'm gonna let that kind of sit there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bootsy. We have children in the room, Bootsy. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, today's not rated R, you guys. Today's rated PG 13. Not even PG. <laughs> I don't think we have anybody that's um 13 over here yet. We're all over that age at this point. But we do have some youngins in here that are below that. Okay, so let me see. Well, I got some bits of um, these little dangles here. So I think I'm going to add some of these little things in here. Because why not? They're there, right? Might as well use them. So, yeah. Uh, Little bits here and there. Then I have to see what I find over here. I, I still have more edges that I gotta cover in black. I'm a kid still here. <laughs> oh, they left? Oh, okay. All right, Booty, you're good to go. <laughs> okay. So let's see, not that, that's curved. Um, maybe I can add a little bit of this along the top. Do I have enough to do both sides? No, I do not. What do I have enough of here? Nothing. I have enough of nothing. Let's see. Ooh, this is too long. This is way too long. All right, I'm going to have to go somewhere else and look. It's more for the fun. Which I do kind of like. 
maybe where is part here? I do kind of like that. Push the hole. Let me see if I can punch my holes out. What are you, little machine? What are you doing? Can anybody see my, my, there it is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's why when I have kids in the room, I try to go straight to the G. <laughs> Let's not even go nowhere else with it. Because they don't, you don't know what they know, what they don't know. And I don't want to contribute <laughs> to anything that they might not, uh, they should not be learning here. All right, so I kind of fed these little holes now. Look at that, you guys. All this work, and we still haven't even got to the part of actually adding anything on here. I'm going to get that trim that I had. It's like a velvety kind of trim. I really like it, and I think it's perfect for, like, right before, before my holes even start. So I'm going to add that in there real quick while I can. Okay. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cut these little trims off. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use them. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this. Okay. So we have that. Let's trim and cut this bit off. Okay. So far. I don't even want to imagine. I think my mind will explode. Honestly. <laughs> I don't know if I can take the reality of what is in their mind nowadays. I found another little bundle. Let's see what this little bundle has. I saw black in it. Let's see what they are. And this is how I usually store my lace in cage protectors. <laughs> then I just wrap them up. Let's see what is in here. Oh, okay, we got some black lace. That'll work. That'll work, that'll work, that'll work, you guys, that'll work. Then once I do this, then I'll add that page and then we can start decorating it. And then that'll be it. This will be a quick one overall, you guys. I know it feels like forever right now. You gotta clean that brush, you guys. I'm not gonna turn it into a spatula. Yes. All right, so we got some black trim here. This is just regular basic trim. And um, even though it matches absolutely nothing with what I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and add, start from the bottom and work my way up so that at least it has a little bit of it in there. Let me just find the end. I'm gonna need more glue, so let me get that first. So I don't have to stop and just keep going. Okay. All right. I mean, yeah, you know. What wouldn't you do if you had the opportunity to go back in time, right? 
What wouldn't you do? That is the question. So at least it's got a little bit of it in there and then I could just keep going from there. More regrets. So. Listen, you made it this far, so you didn't do too bad of a job, right? Your choices weren't too, too bad. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is set it on top of itself. This is the wax paper backing from the tape, so it's perfect. It doesn't stick to it. Hello, Patty Ann, and welcome. Today, we are actually finishing up on an ephemera journal that I was working on um, past couple of lives ago. Um, it's this journal right here. And so they were working on the covers. So basically, we've been working on this um, book. We've been doing it a few pages at a time. It's up to seven pages so far. So I'll give you a quick little flip through. Everything is full of tuck spots here. Um, I shared all the different tuck spots and everything at the beginning of the video. But basically, this is a quick little run through. This is kind of a little bit uh, on the meat evil side, a little whimsical, a little bit Halloween-ish. Um, a little something something, right? We added some envelopes in here. We have a whole bunch of ephemeras that I've um, used my Cricut machine and basically printed and cut. Um, so basically that's what this is. And tis the season, right? We have Halloween right around the corner. So that's what we have so far. And basically I'm working on the covers right now. I'm adding lace all around the borders. Thank you so much. I don't want to be in Mexico, El Dia de los Muertos. I want to die on my land, Bootsy. <laughs> if I'm going to go, take me from here. <laughs> then you don't have to import me back like a Corona. <laughs> yeah. So basically, that's what we've been working on. And I've got the other, um, this is the cover, the back cover. We've got that pretty much sorted out. We're just working on finishing up this real quick. Even though I keep using that word, I don't mean it. Um, quick is just something that comes out of my mouth because I'm hopeful, not because I'm realistic. <laughs> so we just keep doing this. And then here I am gonna give it a little bit of texture. And I'm just gonna feed that right over the glue. And let me just pull the edges out. I just want something to kind of pop off of these little borders here and there, basically. <laughs> okay, so that's basically what we are doing here, just kind of feeding this. Oh, you have that same paper? I've had it for a while, 
And I've used pages here and there, but this time I decided to just, I lost the cover. <laughs> I said, it's time to go. I don't even know where you came from anymore. So basically I decided to put as much of that paper into this book as possible. Because at this point in time, I know it's DCWV. I have no idea about anything else. No, I do not have heat resistant fingers. However, I have wax um, tape covers, which are very good for um, putting it over the tape. I mean, over the hot glue as you're, you know, smoothing it out and trying to stick it down, especially with the lace. So I just did that now. I've never done that before. So I was like, yeah, that works. <laughs> Or you can always get silicone finger hats. I do have them. Trust me, I go nowhere without my protection, but I don't know where they are. <laughs> so we're going to have to figure this out this way. And I hope my friends are still here with me because I know it's been a long day today. So basically just kind of crunching it up a little bit. And then with the wax paper, just rubbing that glue out so it spreads out while it's still nice and warm. Voila. And I'm not doing any, um, I didn't do any on the other one, right? No, I'm not doing any on the outside, just on these, you know, these things here. The back is going to stay the way it is. So with that being said, let's trim this part out. Thank you. No, I'm, I'm live every Saturday at 7 o'clock. But we do have sporadic lives um, throughout the week here and there because we basically try to get in whenever, um, like, work schedule-wise because my husband also crafts. He's also here in the chat. His name is Hassan's Vintage World, if you want to check that out. He does amazing vintage projects. Um, so depending on, like, when he wants to go live or when he does his videos, we kind of alternate and we try to, you know, do it like that. Plus, um, I also come here crafting with my friends, who's Isabella Bodhi, as well as mom to create and we also kind of come on here live together. It can be on her channel, my channel, either one of our channels. Um, so yeah, there's a lot going on. Between all of our channels, there's a lot going on. So if you love mixed media, if you love paper projects, if you love you know all of those different things, journal making, like a little bit of everything you'll find here. You'll find some altering, you'll find a little bit of everything with us. But yes, <laughs> so. Onto, onto, onto adding this paper here. Again, this is like a cork paper, and I'm sorry if everything looks disheveled and all messy, but you know how it goes. The, as the journey continues and the suitcases get open, all the clothes get. So we're going to go ahead and glue this onto here. I think now I've got my corners pretty covered. I don't have to worry too, too much about any of these little corners that didn't meet just right, kind of exposing themselves. So now I'm just going to try to get this. Um, just about right. I should have cut this beforehand, but I forgot. <laughs> so we're going to wing it, you guys. We're going to wing it and pray for the best because that's all we can do. So let me see if I can kind of like fold this into place and see maybe if that'll help me get like a guide of where I need this to be. Let me get um, some kind of marker so I can try to mark this off. Wrong end. So I can go onto my machine and hopefully, well, with my paper cutter, and hopefully trim that excess off. Thank you, thank you. Where's my paper trimmer? Oh, there it is. You know what we need, you guys? We need voice-activated crafting tools. So when we ask it, where are you? We need you. It says, I'm right here. <laughs> Look no more. I'm to your left or I'm to your right or check under the paper. You put it. You, that's where you left me there last. I wish we had like voice activated crafting tools, honestly. I think that would make my whole life such like a whole lot easier because I'm always misplacing my stuff. Okay, this paper, it's not really like paper. It's corkboard. And it is not easy. So I'm just kind of like dashing it out. 
so that I can actually like try to trim it with the scissors so it's not so broken and uneven because it does look very broken and uneven right now. So I don't even know if this is actually going to be a good idea for this, but I'm going to seal it with Mod Podge after I'm done. Hopefully that'll be enough to, um, because it feels so nice. You guys, the texture is so nice. And you can hear it. <laughs> yeah, new app. Where's my paper cut? I, listen, I lose my scissors. I lose a lot of things, you guys. I use, I lose a lot of things all the time. And it always happens when I'm live. So, yeah, help me out a little bit, machine makers. <laughs> help us out a little bit because I'm sure I'm not the only one. You know, they made an alarm for keys, right? Like, if you can't find your car keys or your house keys, you just push the button and they, like, they start beeping like crazy and you find them. I think I'm going to have to do the same thing for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out some chipboard pieces here and there um, just to kind of fill in some of this gap. And I'm using some of my leftover pieces as long as they're not, like, too hollowed out. Let me go get another one. These are all of my scraps. Yes, 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 yes. I know there were probably charges an arm and a leg for it, but if you could always find them when you need it, that's like having Superman on speed dial in my world. <laughs> In my world, that's like having Superman on speed, though. So let's see. Let's see if I need any more. I'm going to put these two pieces like in the center here somewhere. I think I'm going to need... Don't you guys just love the sound of scissors cutting paper? And why is it that only the big scissors sound like that, but not the small ones? All right, so hopefully that'll be enough. Is not too much. Okay, that feels a little bit better. I'm just using my scraps, you guys. I'm kind of, maybe I don't need these two here. Maybe that. That's good. Yeah. I think I'm just going to do all this. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's do these in place. Let's add glue first. Then we can glue in place. All right. So let's add this here. This one. All right. 
So we're gonna go ahead and add this one. And we're just kind of fill it in a little bit. If I would have measured it more, I didn't realize I was gonna have to use the trim, which is why I didn't cut out something for the inside. But if I was gonna do this again, I would definitely cut out this. And if I'm gonna use trim, and I know this for a fact, I will cut out something that I can use to kind of like just fill in that space so it's not so sunken in. Now I'm gonna add my my paper. All right. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna start. This paper is a little different, and I know that if once I stick it, I won't be able to rip it. So I'm just gonna start sticking it in the bottom and work my way up. Kind of hard to see where the edge of the book actually begins because of all the trim. I love how that looks, it's so matte. Now I can continue because now I know more or less where it's going to be. It's just hard to start gluing it down and then like not have it really um, sit right where it needs to sit, and then you end up struggling. Put this baby over. Just compress that in there. Let me glue this in. They tore very, very fragile this paper. I am going to be adding a frame to the side of this um, page. Let me go ahead and trim all, all this excess. I'm going to be inking up that edge with some black ink. Here you go. All right, so this is the front. Let's start working. Let's start working on this, you guys. This is all gelled out. Let's get some of our ephemera pieces together. Let me get rid of all of this chipboard that I don't need right now. And I'm going to try to reinforce that paper by actually using, um, if you guys can see, it's very flimsy. And it's actually cork. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you, Nora. All right, so let's um, put this here, put this here, move that over. I have all of these ephemera pieces right here that we're going to be incorporating into this cover. I don't really know what my cover is going to look like yet, you guys, as you guys know. Those of you that have been here before know that I'm a very on the spot type of crafter. I very rarely have anything, you know, too overly like planned out. Usually I create on the fly. So this is gonna be my cover. So I'm trying to create some kind of an aesthetic. So let's see where my little imagination takes me. Mm 
Here comes the hard part, you guys. Is actually choosing what you want. Oh, I like this. I like that too. Since this paper is so dark, I like how the light ones look on it better than how the dark ones look. So let's see what we do. And again, I want this to be like really, really whimsical. Like that's the goal here. So I don't know. I kind of like how that looks there. Let me get my bag. I got more stuff here. Weren't they all into goth in the 80s? <laughs> Is that a trick question, Bootsy? <laughs> Thank you, Janet. Weren't they all into goth in the 80s? I believe that uh, the good majority of them were. I'm trying to find my little baggie of ephemeras that I have here left over from this project. So just bear with me while I try to find um, all the little bits and pieces that I have left over because I do have quite a lot. Nope, 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 nope. I think that's it for what I have left over. Everything here is just for embellishing purposes, I think. Yep, yep. All right. Oh, wait, did I miss it? Nope, that's it. All right, so it's this. This is what this is the pile that I have to work from. So let's see what we have. Not that, not that. Definitely not that. Not that, not that. Not that. So this is the girl that I used in one of the other pages. Okay, this is becoming very difficult. This is becoming very difficult, you guys, to do the cover because, like, you want to do justice. Like, you want, you know, you did all that work on the pages. You want to make sure that your cover looks good. So, hmm, maybe I didn't make the best selection with the papers that I used for the cover, or maybe I did. Okay, I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Use that like if it was a move. Right? Maybe I can use that front page. We'll see, we'll see. We'll get it, you guys. We'll get it. YouTube just crashed. Oh, I thought like it was the whole the whole YouTube. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh no, <laughs> am I here by myself now? <laughs> All right, let's see. I used most of my best pieces on my pages. That's what happened. I kind of like that. What do you guys think for the composition of the front? I like it. 
Let me get my distress. Maybe not distress. Maybe I just use a marker. Like a file. Yeah. Just gonna use a marker to just kind of go over these edges real quick and then glue them down. Once you do the edges to the to these images, usually like that makes them all kind of like pop out. Even if you don't distress the image itself, just by coloring the edges of your images, sometimes that goes a long way to making it look more complete. Okay, so let me put this here. How are my friends hanging in there? You guys fell asleep on me yet? Because if you did, I would not blame you. It's been a long day. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one down. This is my first one. We're almost done, you guys. Once I decorate this, we'll be finito. If I do anything else to this album, which again, I still have a few little spaces to kind of um, stamp and ink and stuff like that. I'll do a grand review of what the final product looks like at some point um, within the next like week or so or two weeks. I've just got a lot of things that I gotta do. In the meanwhile, it looks like I'm doing the Ouija board <laughs> and I'm just trying to glue the thing down. Okay, let's see. Hello, hello, Teresa. How are you, darling? How are you feeling? I was telling uh, my friend Janet yesterday, who's mom to create about your um, the pours that we did and the amazing results that you had and all the other um, pours that you did afterwards. She wants to give it a try. She's seen some other YouTubers that have done it as well. And she's like super, super intrigued. And I'm like, girl, we did a little bit of everything. Go check out that series that we did that, um, collab that we did. <laughs> we tried string, we tried napkin, we did a little bit of everything. Okay. That image is good to go. 
I have to figure out where my key is going to go. Can I add this rose in there? I really want to add this rose. Maybe I'll add it somewhere else. What about this, this rose here? No. I think that's good enough. Yeah, that would be cool. I know Janet wants to try some too, so that maybe give her the perfect opportunity. Anybody that hasn't tried it before, they might have wanted to try it to give it a go. Because I wouldn't mind using them some of my old paints. That way I can get rid of them for a while. You end up opening bottles that the paint doesn't work, and it's very frustrating. <laughs> Especially when you're in the middle of your mode, and you're like, dang it, I gotta open the drawer again. Oh, you have a few ideas, do you? <laughs> Interesante. Yes, definitely. Let's talk, let's talk. Let's exchange ideas. Because I had a lot of fun with that last one, let me tell you. I think I did so many acrylic pours. It's probably why I haven't done any more since then. <laughs> I was like, I'm acrylic poured out. I did so many of them. I was like so addicted to it. It's like such an awesome thing to try, especially the effects and the results and all the different techniques and how the colors blend. Like it's just magical to me. I love it. So I'll be totally down. Of course. Or you can hit me up on Instagram. Either way. Maybe we can set it up for some time next, um, towards the end of this month or, or the beginning of next. That way we can get everything together and put the announcements and all that stuff. But we'll talk, we'll talk. We'll talk, girlfriend, we'll talk. <laughs> Maybe Isabel will join us again as well. Awesome sauce. <laughs> Let's see, let me say something, Teresa. You have done an amazing job. From if you go like you know, if, let's say you had like a little comic flip book of all of them put together, like the growth and just the way that you've advanced in that is amazing. I'm nowhere near you at this point. Now you've become my inspiration, let me tell you. Because I stopped practicing. But you kept going. Just trying to fill in these little spots in here, you guys. Like I said, we're just about done with this today, you guys. And anything else that I do with this, I'm totally going to share with you guys because um, I'll be discussing what I'll be doing with it afterwards. I think I'm going to glue that like that. And no tuck spots in the front cover because I don't want things falling apart um, or getting caught. So I'm just going to do it like that. I should really mod podge this thing, but it gives it a little bit of height too at the same time.
This is the bomb. Like having this little piece of paper to like glide around. Oh, I like it, you guys. Now, what I'm going to do at my leisure is I'm going to go into this with some paint. I'm going to paint some of the golds and golds. Just add a little bit of detail. Um, I'm going to be adding some glossy, some triple thick to this image, um, to the key as well. Um, and I'll just do some different things. Like I'll probably pearlize her uh, with something that's like a little bit transparent. Just add a little bit of pearl color since she is a statue. So I'll be doing some other things to this. I'll be adding further embellishments. So what you see today is really not what it's going to look like tomorrow. So you'll definitely want to come back and check that out. And it's called the Ephemera Journal. That's what I've been keeping the name as. Um, so that's what I'm going to continue to call it until I figure out what the name is actually going to be for what it comes out like. But let's see what it looks like together. So far. Okay, Carmen, it would help. It would help, Carmen. It would help. You held the rings together, girl. Let's see. Okay, I'm struggling here like a novice. <laughs> Come on. Let's get it together, girl. Let's get it together. That goes there. That goes there. And this one goes right here. Oh, I think I, I closed up the hole. You see? Oh, nice. I've, I'm just getting my crafting mojo back now, Teresa. So I know exactly what you mean. Yes, I've been crafting here consistently, but every now and then you just lose it. That's why I don't have that many videos, like regularly uploaded videos like before. Because I don't know. There's some type of disconnection there between my creativity and my my want and my need to create, I guess. I want to do it. Sometimes I just don't do it, even though I want to. Okay, now let me close up the bottom. And that's why I put this on rings, you guys, because it's super simple to kind of just like, you know, open it, close it, add to it, take out of it, you know, whatever you want to. Who ends, whoever ends up owning this, be it that they want it or that they bought it, um, you can always add more rings. Right now, these rings are at capacity. I can tell you that right now. So if I wanted to add like paper to this, I actually might just go up a size on these rings and put the bigger rings on here, even if they are a little bit bigger. But I think that once you add paper and stuff like that, if you do plan to use it as a journal, which is basically what it was kind of like um, made for, then yeah, so this is the cover. Yes, it's like a journal. Um, I call it an ephemera journal because basically it's just regular paper and just a whole bunch of ephemera just scattered everywhere and basically, you know, create, creating little scenes using ephemera. Yeah, Claudia, that's, that's the easy way out. <laughs> And I'm not the first to do it, <laughs> just in case. Um, that's the easy way out, to be honest. It's just put some rings on it, and you don't have to worry about a spine. But I actually like it because if I want to turn this into an art journal, let's say I want to turn this into a steampunk art journal, the, the, because of the stuff that I did, because of the way that I created it, and it's very inspiring for creating stuff that's related to steampunk, be it because of the colors, whatever, whatever, whatever. Then basically, I would just add my mixed media paper in here or my cardstock or whatever I was going to use to create my mixed media pages. I would... Basically cut them out eight and a half by eight or eight and a half. I think it's eight by eight that I cut it. I would just punch the holes in them and add them in here. And then I can go and take the page out, use it, put the page back in when it's done. Um, you know, and basically do, that, do it that way. So this is what we have, you guys. Um, so we have the cover. I've added a few ephemera pieces again, keeping to the aesthetic of what the book is like in the inside. Um, so we've got the little Greek statue there. We've got this little time piece that I, made like my little makeshift moon. Um, we've got this key here that kind of opens the door to get into this place where all these amazing little goodies are stored. Um, 
Then here we have, um, this is like, it's like a cork paper, but it's really like a paper because it's super thin, but it's actually cork, made out of cork. Um, and it's got like this really nice um, texture on this side. It feels kind of like asphalt. At least this is what it looks like. It kind of feels like it's very textured. This page here, just to do a quick little recap, we have a crow that I've added in here that kind of basically gets covered up like so. And these pages all kind of interlock with each other so they stay closed. We've got some gears everywhere, but if you guys wanna see how I did that, then you can go back to those videos. They're not linked here, but they will be linked after I'm done with this live stream. Oh, no problem, Patty Ann. Thank you so much for stopping by. We do greatly appreciate it. Good night. Good night, Janet. Love you. So basically, tuck spot here. A whole bunch of tuck spots is basically what I did. Hopefully, you guys can see that. I'm not taking up too much of this room here. It's very really limited on space right now. So we have a tuck spot here. Basically, I might put this so that the mirror kind of covers her face, and then it kind of uncovers her face. And then it's just full of tuck spots everywhere. Tuck spots galore. Um, tuck spots everywhere. That's basically what it is. It's a very kind of uh, go gothy, kind of like medieval-ish, steampunk-ish kind of book. Um, that's what I'm. That's my story. That's what I'm sticking to. Here we have an envelope that I've cut in half. That you can basically put um, tags on the inside and the outside. The feather basically keeps the tags, um, the envelope flipped closed. Then we have this page here tuck spot Oops. over here i'm gonna say i know i i did this earlier tuck spot there tuck spot behind the chair and behind the head all kinds of whimsical little things going on in here we have some metallic stickers from dollar tree we have more tuck spots with these gold leaves and then this gold statue there tuck spots behind the book inside of the pocket here behind the greek goddess there or the greek lady these are two different pieces that i conjoined again you can watch how i put these things together um some of these I didn't do on here, like the backs of the pages I didn't do. All I did was the covers, like the front pages. The backs I did on my own at home here. So this is basically the share for that, um, for those of you that wanted to know what that turned out like. So I added here a heart and a key. It's like a little keychain. Again, these are all separate pieces that I basically um, glued together to kind of form some kind of you know flow, if that makes any sense. And then here we have another envelope flip and this envelope flip, I added a door. This has um, paper that was left over from the scraps. Um, I haven't decorated all of the elements just yet, all of the envelopes. Um, here is a huge, huge tuck spot. And I just wanted this to have like this feel of like being trapped in like one of those medieval castles where you have wizards and all kinds of weird people. Well, maybe not weird to us now, but maybe not weird to them then. Um, but you have all of these weird, strange kind of like, what the heck is going on in here? Are they doing magic? They're doing experimentation. Like, what the heck is going on? Um, because that's basically what medieval times were known uh, were known for, for the most part, besides all the other ugly stuff. But you guys know what I'm trying to say. Aesthetic is beautiful now because we get to use it in a steampunk fashion, and yay for that. Um, so we have here a steampunk heart. And I think I'm going to have to reinforce this with something there, maybe add a little piece of extra little piece of paper there so that it doesn't bend. But basically, you can stick stuff all around this heart. Okay. Here we have tuck spots behind the moon, behind the hands, um, and behind this Greek guy here. I put a lot of statues and stuff like that because I figured, um, especially since it's like back, back, back in the day, that they would do a lot of carvings and stuff like that with stone because it's. Basically, when they really started using all of that stuff and doing all of that stuff anyway, right? And I could be completely off with my history. It's been a long time since I've been in high school, you guys. So we have a tuck spot here, a tuck spot there. So don't quote me. Always use Google <laughs> if you want the answers. Um, we have tuck spots. Basically, this is a whole tuck spot here. I kind of left her open because I didn't want to like um, be jamming things in there and messing up her wings. So basically she just kind of lifts up like this and you can put stuff behind her. You can um, tuck stuff under her wings there. Um, and this is just like a whole little kind of open pocket and it basically has a little flip pocket like that. And then we have the back page, which I haven't done yet. I'll probably do this at my leisure. Maybe this glass flower, I think will look really nice here because it kind of matches the paper really nicely. And I think I like the way it stands out. So maybe I'll do something with that rose here towards the end, maybe this Greek goddess or something. Um, we'll see. We'll see, you guys. We'll see how that kind of goes. But 
ideas are already coming to my head. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for being here as always. Um, thank you guys so, so much for uh, the support. And as my page implies, dream until your dreams come true. That is what we are trying to do here. I hope that you join us for this adventure if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. Stay tuned for the final reveal because I said I'm going to be adding more stuff to this. Um, so it'll come out sometime later on. And yes, thank you guys so, so much. I have very much enjoyed your company. You guys are awesome. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.